Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. The Spoke Bees are back on the ice here in Boston. The home of Bobby Orr, Cam Neely, Ray Bork, and more. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Bruins win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Pushes it across to Saka. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Red Wings have played the puck from behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Marchand. Here's a pass to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Larkin's greatest asset is his speed. His wheel zone ability means he can really fly when he's got the space to move. Pasternak dangerous when he shoots pucks that are flat and settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability is that accuracy from having full control of the puck. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. And that's off a stick. Quick shot. Oh, solid save by Olmark. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Great stretch pass as he connects. Looking to make something happen to the offensive zone. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the tuck away. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Dubé. Boston's on the attack. Misses a golden opportunity there. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless, misses the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that's turned aside by Husso. Great read by the keeper to poke it away. Knocked away in the offensive zone. From one point man to another. Shot, and that's broken out. Detroit's got the puck along the wall. Warren's got it in the defensive end. And he'll retreat inside his own end. Now they're really driving pressure in the O-zone, dictating the pace. Now they've got to find a way to funnel it to the net. Up along the wing. Swap up. Here's a chance. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Omar. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Sends the pass in front, and that's intercepted. Detroit's moving it along the wing. Pokes it away in his own end. And somehow he hangs on. He grabs the puck here at the point. What a break for the goaltender as it goes off the inside post and stays out. That's frustrating, James. The score is 0-0, and oh, what a miss as it goes off the post and out. Can't maintain possession. Takes the puck. The Bruins have it behind the net. And he takes a shot. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Gains the zone along the right wall. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Blocked and kept out of the line. And you can see the body language. Everyone knows that that's got to get out. Now you're finding yourself fighting for the puck and trying to get it out yet again. Hall's moving the puck through his own zone. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And that's stopped away by Fisher. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Rocks him on the play. Boston's got the puck. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Tosses it on to McAvoy. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't connect. Pasternak's going to play it against the half wall. Grabbed along the board by Marchand. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. The Red Wings take it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. Picked up along the boards by Saka. Drives it to the crease. The Red Wings gain control of it. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. 
takes a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Here's a short pass to McAvoy. And that pass attempt is deflected. Strong defensive effort. From the left wing, takes the feed. The Red Wings gain control of the puck against the wall. Boston's looking to break out. The Bruins take it across the line. Has the front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Gains the zone from the right. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Van Riemsdyk. With possession along the wall. Puts it on there. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Trying to clear the puck from his own end. A chance right in front. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. A chance for both teams to refuel. They're back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? The Bruins find themselves in a scoreless game after owning the play and really controlling it in the offensive zone. It's a scoreless period, James, but they have to find ways to convert, and that means driving the middle of the ice and trying to bury it. Puck grabbed by McAvoy. Here's a chance in front! And that's stopped! Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Larkin. The Bruins have it against the wall. And here's the pass to Marchand. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Dropped him in the open ice. Boston's on the attack. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. Detroit's won the faceoff at center. Taken along the wall by Wallman. The Red Wings move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick feed to DeBrusque. Coyle's got it against the boards. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. The Bruins will play it against the boards. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. And sends it just out of reach. And that's off a stick. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. Quick pass to Fabry. Huso is a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single putt and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Grizzlick's lugging the puck. Look out, here they come on the attack. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Taken by Sherratt. Gaining momentum along the boards. Fires it into the offensive zone. Boston's got the puck in the defensive end. Parisi's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Kiki. Oh, and he's just got enough of that one to keep it out. Here's the pass in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Detroit's moving it up the ice. Punts it away to keep the pressure on. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And they send it right back to him. Takes the feed. Sends it to the middle. Picked off in front. The Red Wings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Boston's gained possession. 
slides the puck across to McAvoy. Play is blown dead with the offside. This crowd tonight, I mean, every night here, they are just on fire with another sellout. They're on fire, James. I like the way you said that, that little high pitch, because why everyone in here is high pitch? Because they're winning and they're being successful. You can see it by the number of jerseys that have been bought and are being worn, and that's when you know that they're cheering on their star players. Here he is with the backhander. Answered the call on that play. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Sends one up to Marchand. Moves it in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Denies the shooter on that play. The Bruins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Forward's taking it from his own end. Swats it out of midair. Picked up along the wall by Larkin. The Red Wings have it now. The break is in all alone on the breakaway. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Scooped up along the wall. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Let's get the call. Pasternak's been given two minutes for cross-checking. The Bruins win the draw on their own end. Looks to make a play over to Frederick. Along the half wall with the puck. The Red Wings gain possession in their own end. Detroit's through center and now in the offensive end. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. Here's a shot. Scores! There it is. His first of the season and look at the smile there. Burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Goalie looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Detroit's finally got a lead here in the second period, but kind of an unconventional way how they got here. Yeah, I mean, weathering the storm just shows that they bent, but they did not break, and they can give some stick taps to their goaltender as well. But hey, it's all about capitalizing on the opportunities you get, and they put one in. Had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. That's an excellent shot. It does go in, James, but the goaltender trying to make the highlight reel save with his glove hand isn't able to corral it, and it goes in. Boston's push to the offensive end gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing, too, James. Yeah, at the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored on, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. The Bruins gain control of the puck. And now it's over to Kiki. Who's the puck? And near the final minute of the second. Receives the pass. Slurry to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Setting up behind his own net now. Great reach with the stick by Kiki. Denies him in close. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Detroit's taking possession in their own end. And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Boston's caught him along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Saka. He's Kind of 
push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. The Bruins with that goal have gone up by one here in the third. Well, you're better up by one than down by one, James, but there's a lot of runway left. Now it's a mindset of attack, but be defensively responsible. Puck scooped up by Gostas Bear. Off the left wing and into center. Comes up with the stop. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Lots of time left in this period. Boston's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Sackers won a big draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Debrinket. And he stopped that one. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Boston's benefited from lots of shots on net here tonight, and they lead it early in this third period. Detroit's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Quick feed to Larkin. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Turned aside with a glove by Omar. Quick pass to Pasternak. And that's kicked off. Sends a pass over. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by McAvoy. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Take it along the wall by Larkin. Takes the pass. Didn't get all of it, but just got enough of it with the trapper. The Bruins will play it in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. The Bruins played along the boards. Pass to the front. Takes a shot. Jocelyn for the puck, but still maintains possession. Pasternak's so effective in the O-zone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. here, James. I thought that he had the post cover, but he clearly did not. There was just enough room to slide that puck in the inside post. The Bruins have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Coils won the draw at center. Moves it to Krislik. Handles the puck. Boston's in transition. He got all that hit. Moves it quickly over to DeBrus. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Bruins are off to the box. Interference the call. They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. It's about quick puck movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. Hammers it on net, and that's blocked. And this Slovak's really put the pressure on now. D picks it up. They are under pressure here. Olivier stick breaks, and he's logged it back to the bench and gets a new one. Now he gets back into the play quickly. And he can't hang on after that hit. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Scores! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Detroit's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Great use of the stick at center by Dubé. Can't hang on after that hit. 
The Red Wings gain possession along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Larkins tripped up and the official's hand is in the air signaling penalty. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And he moves it up to Marchand. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Boston's got the puck against the boards. The Red Wings move it ahead. And that's poked away by McAvoy. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. Slides it up to Kiki. Across the line and on the attack. In front, and it's blocked. Picked up along the boards by McAvoy. Here's a shot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Geeky's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. The Bruins PK unit delivers on that. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything, and when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in, and... The whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. And he gets it from that. Bringing the physicality tonight. The Bruins take it from the side. And kept that one out of the net. Walman's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. And it's a quick pass to Fabry. Slick feed. right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. The Bruins with the draw here to their own end. And now he passes up to White. Over the line they come. Here's a short pass to Carlo. Shot in front. Oh, a clutch save. Detroit's got the puck along the boards. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Boston's got it in their own zone. The Bruins take it along the wall. Referee's hand goes up in the air. We got a delayed penalty coming up here. And let's see what the call is. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. The Red Wings win the draw. Picked up along the wall by Perron. Grabs the puck. Cops got it across the line. Quick feed to Perron. What a steal in his own end. Boston's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. The Panthers are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Well, there was certainly pressure on the center to win this draw, coming off an icing where everyone's tired. You get the win, you get out of your zone. Takes the feed, moving in. DeBrusque's got the puck. Oh, what a chance! He came so close to putting it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick... Oh, well, that's going to be a call, James. That's definitely a penalty. Quick pass to Larkin. Shot! And he gets a chunk of that to keep it out. The Red Wings with a huge penalty kill there. Let's see what the officials are calling. On ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. Moves it to Costa Spare. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Knocks the puck down with a stick. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Moves around along the half wall. 
Retrieves. They've got a two on one. Across the line. To the crease. Score! Off the rush, and that's how you finish. When you're behind in a game, James, sometimes you can get frustrated, rattled, and you can start to really see the body language go down, but they have stuck with it. They've clawed their way back, and they're in the game now. Detroit's playing to win here now in the late stages of this one, Cheryl. And it's amazing how you can get so much rejuvenation off of a goal at the late stages of a third period. You know the whole bench is up and ready to go. They want the call. Carlos got the puck in his own zone. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Perron. Throws it in. The Bruins will play the puck from behind the net. Quick pass across to Saka. The Bruins cross the blue line and are on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect on the play. The Red Wings gain possession. Here they come up along the wing. And he's knocked off the puck there. Penalty coming up here. There's the horn bringing regulation time to an end. We got overtime coming up next. The Bruins with a four on three power play, and they've got plenty of time to go to work. Power play in overtime. You know the players, the heart rate is elevated. They're on their toes. Coach's responsibility to settle them down, remind them of their systems so they can get out on the ice and execute. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Van Riemsdyk stick handling in his own zone. The Bruins played along the wing. Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone. Oh, and he whiffs. The Red Wings will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Pasternak's got it along the wing. A chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Chance to win it. And he denies it with a monstrous save here in overtime. Oh, what another stop. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Detroit's got it in the wrong zone. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Pasternak's got it to the side. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The Bruins looking against the half wall. The Red Wings take possession in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Hall. And he takes the feed. Takes the shot. Spectacular save on the play. Great position. Game on a stick. Oh, what a save to keep it tied. Slides it quickly to Marchand. Here's a chance. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Scooped up along the wall by Marchand. For the win. And now he moves it to Larkin. Here's a chance. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. There's the horn. Overtime fails to find us a winner, so we'll take it to a shootout next here on EA Sports. Time for the shootout, and so many people will complain about it, but when it's time let this thing unfold. There is not a single person I know that looks away. Shootout time. Let's get it on. Pasternak's up next. It's his time to shine. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter, and I'm telling you... And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. All right, back half of round number two. We still don't have a goal 
own this shootout. This stops it. This might be turning into a save-out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and he's challenged. Brings it perfectly and makes the save. Love that he doesn't sit back in his crease, but he gets out and challenges and takes away as much of the net as possible. Tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.